Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between, to another reaction slash discussion video. Uh, this one probably won't be as long as, actually, you know what, it'll be longer, I'm sorry, it'll be longer than the Final Fantasy 16 one, just from the video alone that we have to watch here. Um, so, <clears throat> you guys may be thinking, wait a minute, you just did one a couple of days ago for Final Fantasy 16. now you're doing one for Street Fighter, what are you, big reaction man? No, not really, um... For those who don't know, or for those who are new to the channel, which is probably a lot of you, which is why I'm doing this anyways, um, not only RPGs and visual novels are my forte, I also love fighting games. More than the average person. But I don't care too much about the FGC scene. I'm going to make that very clear. If you're here and you want me to talk about frame data and shit like that, I'm not your guy. I'm sorry, you came to the wrong place. I am sorry. But if you're here, and you want to talk to someone who loves fighting games, and who knows a little bit more than the average person, and for someone who fucking has loved the amazing amount of fighting games that have just showed up within the past couple years, months, whatever, the resurrection of fighting games, honestly, um, no thanks to Street Fighter V, because... Whew, it was cool and hype when it was coming out, but let's be honest, Street Fighter V was, whoa, whoa, absolutely not, no, no, I'm sorry, no, 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 anyways, <clears throat> you know, fucking the games that came out, right, Tekken 7, you know, you got your Tekken 7, you got the re-release of Persona 4 Ultimax, which didn't do as good as I hoped it would, but hell, but hey man, at least it's off of the uh, 360 and PS3, and it's on PC now, we love it, right? Uh, Guilty Gear Strive, I love Guilty Gear Strive, I love Bed Man, Bed, Bed Man, Bed Man, that's my favorite joke ever, I love it, um, you know, uh, them even them's fighting herds is pretty fucking cool. Skullgirls getting its like resurrection, you know, after all the terribleness surrounding Mike Zero. I think that's the guy's name, right? Mike Zero dude or something like that. I don't fucking know that. That oh, whoa, we're just not gonna. Oh, <laughs> that was not a good time. Uh, really put a damper on uh that game. Uh, but um. Yeah, you know, fighting games, I really, really, really enjoy them. And if you don't believe me, then you can, you know, if you are interested, you can go into my channel, and I believe I do have a Street Fighter Six playlist in which I played the second round of the beta, because unfortunately I couldn't get in the first round. But I played the second round of the beta, I did a live stream of that over on Twitch when that was happening, and that's on YouTube, and also between... Between all that, I also did, you know, a couple of smaller videos, like 10 minish ish videos of me playing other characters when I had the time to do it. Um, and those didn't have any commentary in it. So if you just want to check those out too, like some Ken gameplay, some Jury gameplay, some Kimberly gameplay. The Kimberly gameplay is... That's a weird video because I didn't get that many matches in as Kimberly. Like, that video is mostly me dealing with this one fucking Guile player. Um, actually, you know what? That's a lie. I'm so sorry. That's a lie. Those did have commentary. So, all of them had commentary. I'm sorry. There was no com- There wasn't any videos with no commentary that I can think of. Yeah, no. Actually, I should probably do that. <laughs> I should probably do that for- if, if there is a third beta, which kinda got leaked a little bit. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's get into it. Uh, the only thing I really want to say is- Well, two things. Um, you know, all the standard YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, all that, I really do want to get more eyes on the channel, um, and if you can help out with that, I would appreciate that very much. If you're interested, there's a link to my Twitter and Twitch, and you can check that stuff out. We just finished Borderlands 1 co-op, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, uh, tomorrow night for streaming, if I'm even, uh, feel good for it, and the reason I say that is because the second thing I want to say is, um... Today, I just been through the ringer. 
uh, both physically and mentally. I was in a lot of pain today, just a lot, a lot of pain today. Um, so if I don't sound as enthusiastic or anything, it's not that I'm not, except for when little, little Wayne's going to appear on the screen because we know that's going to happen. And I'll be honest, I really don't care about wheezy money, baby. Um, but she said, what's your number? I said, nine one one. Hey, <laughs> that's fucking dumb shit. Anyways. Um, I really don't give two shits about Lil Wayne, honestly. Um, so that, that part I'm definitely not going to care about, but, uh, It'll be a good thing to laugh at. But if I don't sound enthusiastic about any of this stuff, you have to, I just want you to realize I'm in a lot of pain today and I'm kind of recuperating from that right now. And fucking at any moment that pain can come back. So uh, let's get started with that sour note. Also, I really like the soundtrack of this game a lot. I'm going to lower the volume on my side. Because it is very loud. I just hit my microphone. I apologize for that. All right, let's get into it. Nice shawl. A developing nation of little significance. Tucked away in a remote corner. Also, I'm assuming that everybody's uh, seen the leaks. Uh, we're going in here. We're going to assume that everybody's seen the leaks. So I don't think I need to talk about that. They've been around for a long time, and they've all seemed pretty correct. Okay, seems like the world tour mode. So we're hanging around India and stuff like that. The hell use items? They're fighting drones and shit. A fridge? That's cool. Merchant. Customizable items and stuff. Tournaments, I guess, or a skill tree. Oh, you can hang out with the... What's her name? The kid from, uh... Chun-Li's kid. <laughs> Not her kid, but her orphan child. Who's probably gonna be, like, in round two of DLC. Oh my god, it's fucking Hagar. Stop. Oh my god. Okay. So, it seems like you can have fun fighting matches in the, um, you know, in the, in the multiplayer hub with your custom characters if you want to do that, but I don't think anyone's really going to be taking them seriously. That is a cool looking character. All these characters are custom made, by the way, for people who don't realize it. <laughs> Getting ballerina by a cop. That's hilarious. This is the most goofiest looking shit ever, and I love every moment of it. What the fuck is that voice? Earn that rubber fist. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's your boy Weezy. Welcome to the street. Guys, you get it? How about we, that new trailer? we showed the showcase during 420. He's even high new during it. His eyes are bloodshot. We're talking new ways to fight. Crazy All right. New game modes, All right, little Wayne. What kind of dumb shit you got to talk about? Let's, let's, let's get it over with. So let's get into the game and get the showcase started with the latest from Street Fighter 6's director, Takayuki Nakayama. I don't like the way he stared at me at the end of that. My name is Takayuki Nakayama. My man looked like he was about to fall over. <laughs> Any moment. As you saw in the beginning of our latest trailer, Street Fighter 6 features significant single player content in the form of World Tour. Today, I'd like to tell you more about World Tour mode. Directly to you. All right. Our single player mode. The closest thing to a campaign we'll get, which is more than what Street Fighter 5 gave us at launch. I didn't hate I didn't hate the I didn't hate the story of Street Fighter 5 at launch uh, not at launch I'm sorry why am I saying that I didn't hate the story of Street Fighter 5 when the cinematic stuff came out I didn't hate it too much you know it was goofy it was fun I liked it Charlie Nash is cool I wish Charlie Nash would come back <laughs> chances of that happening are pretty low but I mean character deaths don't doesn't matter in fighting games so who cares but, be able to create an avatar with a high degree of customization. But every everything else surrounding Street Fighter V was just so bad. The protagonist joining Buckler Security Services training course. I hope we're not doing any more sponsored shit. 
Remember when Street Fighter V wanted to like there, you'll meet just throw Luke. ads in your face? Your basic training and set yeah. off on your adventure. Say, you're That's not funny, Luke. What if I created a monster? Walk in there with a Dark Souls 1 create a character monster and he's like, you look very photogenic. <laughs> okay. Oh, look how much Luke doesn't care. It's during this By the way, course, Luke is a character that I both like and hate. I mean, everybody kind of likes and hate him. Right? One of the great things about World Tour but he's very fun to play as. Unique characters. Oh, very on, fun man. to play as. I don't think so anybody plays played streets. Luke and said he controls like shit. Like even in Street Fighter V. Very Street fun Fighter, to play as. But they all love a good fight. With a single press of a button, you can seamlessly enter a battle with them. I'm a fuck up Steve. Bystanders will also come to see what's going on. Street Fighter 6 features the tried and true classic six button control style, but also adds a new four button modern control style that features three attack strengths. Yeah, that modern control style was pissing me off during that beta. It pissed me off, but every time I saw it, pissed me off because you know, people can just do shit easily, right? And I mean, that's cool, right? And if you're good at the game, you should, you know, you're, it's not that much. It's not that much hair off your chest. Which will let you enjoy the tactical side but of I will say, seeing seeing that modern it's controller stuff in the corner of the person's name so instantly told me that they're not that good at fighting games. The more you battle, the so that means I would pressure the fuck out of them. Earn experience points they don't know how to handle pressure. Your stats, such as your it lets me know what kind of player you are. Some fights have specific objectives that can be completed to earn more rewards and items. And add a new wrinkle to combat. I really want to get good at playing as uh as Jamie. You can I love everything that Jamie's rocking with. Clothing shops. Love his look. Love his kit. That gear affects your avatar's appearance. I love the idea of him just walking in with a Hennessy well. bottle. He's just losing his damn mind. The product lineup changes from time to time, so check the stores periodically to see what's for sale. There's also a variety of eateries to visit in the game. Damn, dude, you're tall as from fuck. These places can restore your vitality, give your stats a temporary boost, and other perks. You can also use these items to give yourself a helping hand during battle. You can also use it to cheat. <laughs> this way. And then we have mentors, right? That was unnecessary, Jamie. Here. Is it is it alcoholic, Jamie? Is it tea? Congrats. Yeah, okay. From now on, you can tell people you are a student of the great Jamie show. From now on, you can be an alcoholic with Once me. You knock that back and make it official anyway. <laughs> Jamie out here. Master, shouldn't you be helping me with my life choices? No. Drink. Drink. Don't look at me. Rank. Trust me and take a swig. It's not booze. What is it, Jamie? It's a family-made herbal drink that really boosts your energy. Bullshit. Bullshit. Jamie, your hair gets loose and you turn red. It's not no herbal drink. Well, I got like fucking city, open up your like, twelve different types of teas in my room. I know herbal drink when I see it. This Liar. mission has you going to Metro City's Chinatown. It's to not booze. Shut the fuck fighter. up. Becoming the student of a legendary fighter grants you access to their master action. I Chun Li. I always suck as plain as you. <laughs> I don't know how to play as Chun Li. Some master actions can be used to destroy boxes and barrels. That was ugly. That was ugly. Leap to faraway I didn't like that headbutt. You'll have plenty of opportunities. I didn't like that you on the headbutt. It was gross. In different ways, but they all consume the drive gauge, so you'll have to be careful how often you use them. When traversing the city, there are enemies that will suddenly attack you. And that's when you can use the World Tour exclusive move, Drive Stall, to slow the flow of time. You can just Tokyo Tomae and just fucking enemies and master action. You can just deal all over the place. 
You can also use this to avoid enemy attacks or strike first to gain the advantage when the battle begins. Swing first. <laughs> swing first, motherfucker. During swing battles, first. opponents will start to glow white. Look at those two doing squats up there. Opening to strike during an enemy's weakest point. Landing a normal attack here will trigger what we call pressure time, and you'll do more damage than usual. However, if you can land a special move, it'll take you one step further. You'll put them into a stun state. Okay. Keep this in mind when battling on the streets. So they're keeping World Tour like very arcadey, very fun, so it's not too hard on newcomers. And they can just really enjoy the story. Well, not the story, more like the adventure, right? Ooh. Yeah, Chun Li. I can't wait for her to be in DLC round two. I love this. I love the fucking kick. Lee Fen, I'm disappointed in you. Uh, the fucking Jackie Chan adventures, like, and one more thing, fucking kick. When you decide to become a student of a legendary fighter, you can also undertake special missions. I love how even the game is like, guys, come down. She's not ready yet. She's not ready yet. To strengthen the bond between you and the master. She'll be in the game. Don't worry. stories to learn. But she's just not ready yet. Those are cool headphones. Holy shit. And Chun Li, how old are you? You're like pushing. She's like. Actually, she would be in her. You can give the master Mid 30s? Presence to strengthen Late your 30s? And also see I don't think she's 40 yet. Gift. I don't think she's 40 she's yet. A she's gotta be in her 30s, use right? Their basic attacks. I love you, Chun Li, but. I, I still don't think I'm gonna learn you in this game. Using that style in battle lets you accumulate experience. You got stance changes. She has fucking charge level. moves. I hate charge moves so much. Level up enough. I hate charge moves, but during the beta, I had a lot of fun as Kyle. That's because I became a turtle. That's all you gotta do. Be a turtle. In addition to flash experience kick. points, fucking flash kick. Every, everything, everything that comes your way. These can be used by opening up your device and selecting skills. Here you can unlock buffs for your character that can increase their punch or kick strength, maximize their vitality, and more. The drive stall move we just touched upon is also unlocked via skill points. Okay. As you can see, in what I'm really interested mode, in in this world tour mode is I want to see. You, by the way, I love these assists. I want to see um. Customizing your basic and special attacks. I want to see how they're going to incorporate JP, right? Jesus. <laughs> Who's fucking super is that? Oh. Is that a jury thing? There's a lot of kicks. That one's fucking uh, Zangief's. Or Zangief. Zangief is the correct way to pronounce his name. Marissa. Marissa? That's her name, right? The... Homegirl over here that owns a owns a restaurant. <laughs> Why did I walk into the Coliseum? Why am I here? Mufasa? Did I just walk into a cult? Why, why is the old man there? Yeah, Marissa. Adventure, That's her name. Flight tickets, which you can use to travel from Metro City to other locations via the world map. She's gonna fucking kick the shit out of that line. If you want to learn all of the styles and moves, you'll have to dedicate some time to find the legendary fighters scattered around the world. Start with that mean kick. I want to see it. Aww. And you'll find many of your favorite characters in World Tour. <laughs> there may be some unexpected appearances too. Oh Jesus! Isn't this dude from um uh 
save the girl. Don't you worry, my friend. Ah, I forgot. Mm. Is our specialty. Remember them. Is it from Final Fight? Final Fight, right? The Mad Gear group. There are characters steeped in mystery, and organizations you may recognize. All of which come together to immerse you in the Street Fighter universe. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> there is some love put in here. More love than Street Fighter V ever had, ever will have. Just look at that drone just sitting there in the corner. That's a drone, right? Naishal is a large city that serves as another area to explore in World Tour. Complete with its own stores that differ from the ones you find in Metro City. In contrast to Metro City's urban landscape, this city has a fairly complex topography. And who you'll meet in this new city will also <laughs> The refrigerator. <laughs> oh no. That's all we have to show you for World Tour mode this time. What are you stealing? You enjoy not only the battle portion, but the story and creating your own character as well. Found them. Yeah. So there is a there is a proper story happening on top of World Tour mode. Okay, that's gonna be really fun when this comes out. Oh my god, a lot of good games are coming out. Holy shit! Also, with the whole assist mechanic, I feel like they're trying to work towards something else for maybe the next game. Challenge or just passing through on your journey. I forgot the name of this announcer, but I love everything about them. <laughs> Remember, fucking starting the beta, I was like, Yo, who is this? Street Fighter 6. It's so cool. In the Battle Hub, players don't show me, Cammy. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> I put a tweet out like back when the leaks happened. I was like, The world's not ready for Cammy with pants. It's too much. It's too much. The pants went on and the world went crazy. As you saw from the trailer at the beginning of the show, the avatars you create and train in World Tour can also duke it out. Damn, dude. That mean kick. There are gonna be so many fucking freak ass characters. Personal fighter in avatar battles. There are gonna be so many freak ass characters, and there's also gonna be that other that other side where everyone's like, I made Naruto and Deku. And I'm just gonna be like, okay, yeah, you did. Congrats. One of your own from scratch. Congrats, guys. More power to you. I'm just club, gonna be over here. By the way, I'm, I'm noticing a lack of Blanca. I want to see more Blanca. Not only that, I want to see more Blanca and Blanca Chong. Own club uniforms that all members can wear. If you have a good idea for a club, let the I'm really seeing too much Mamo, either. We're looking forward to seeing players don their club colors and enjoy the battle hub together. If you're all about that Street Fighter life. The, <laughs> the world's skinniest for you. <laughs> that man's gi is dirty as shit, too. Lightning ground. Damn, Ryu, what happened? So it's fighting ground. Is that arcade mode? Like, proper arcade mode? I'm still standing, be all to hell. Next up, let's talk about some of the cool stuff we have in Fighting Ground. Yikes. Rest in peace, Guile's neck. You see here, we've added a character damage toggle. Oh, so it's vis- okay. Bodies and clothing will get damaged or dirtied up. This will give fights a more realistic feel. Yeah, it's gonna be fun getting this all can also fucked be up. On and off at any time. And if you're someone that's like, I like, I like to be pristine. I don't want to break a sweat. Also, nice classic Ryu. We're just gonna gloss over that. 
Kyle got fucked sound up. Sound accessibility <laughs> options have been improved for Street Fighter 6. Where are sound effects that will give you the Dude, that's the most ghetto shit ever. Oh, they still didn't fix that dude in the background. He still looks like shit. The height level of attacks. Okay, so a lot of a lot of accessibility options too. That's cool. But um Man, that dude in the background's been looking like shit since like the alpha footage for this game. The guy that's like dressed up as Hugo, he just been looking like shit the entire time. Um also to indicate your remaining game. But uh <laughs> lost my We hope that these options will let you better grasp the situation of your fight. Sorry, I was trying to listen to the audio cues. Um I lost my train of thought. Fucking um what was I saying? Oh yeah, the most ghettoist is shit, just like Guile gets his ass handed to him, wins the fight. Like, he's got his ass handed to him, but he still wins the fight. And then he takes out his comey, so all like, I still got, I still got my do going. When you first start the game, we've added a tutorial that explains the basics of battle and the combat. One of the best tutorials in fighting games. One of the best training modes in fighting games. Like. The last time a really good training mode was in a, I mean, there's a lot of good training modes in fighting in games, especially starting from Skullgirls. I think Skullgirls really helped out with that. Only control type, where an AI assistance system will perform actions and combos depending so I remember, on the distance. I remember when people were like, yo, the, the Skullgirls fight, fucking training mode is boss as fuck. We call and then down the road, we just kept dynamic. getting better training modes. And, and then fucking, we had um, Guilty Gear Strive. Their training mode was awesome, and even before that, I think it was, uh, XR, XR2? XR Revelator 2? Had, like, a really good training mode. Um... Alright, here's our cosmetics. Aww, I thought we were gonna talk about cosmetics. If anything was done right in Street Fighter 5, it was definitely the cosmetics. Oh, the twins! It's been a hot minute since I've seen either of you. But don't worry. Are we gonna? Are we gonna do? I'm doing just fine all on my own. <laughs> the name's Jamie Show. Yeah, Jamie's like a mixture of both of them, right? Like a special illustration. I forgot. That's like in his uh, character bio. I fucking I love Jamie's music so much. Hey, look, it's Horny on Main. Hammy looking fucking sick. Oh my uh, god. Also features online rankings <laughs> for your score. So Cammy looked like she just stepped. She's like, now that I'm done with Bison's bullshit, I got all These the dolls back. We're hanging out. Gallery. Fucking um She's like, I'ma just start I'm just start up a fucking uh <laughs> an Instagram page. Manon doing her ballerina shit. <laughs> if you're not sure which character is the right one for you, check out the character guides. Oh which my will god. Teach you about each character's unique traits and how to use their attacks. I'm in Each special move comes with a basic tutorial on how to use them, and you can experiment with them yourself by pressing the try button. Perform well, that was weird. Will shower you with My microphone got like disconnected. Yeah. Uh oh. I may have fucked up the audio a bit. That was very weird. The basics of a character down. Head on over to the combo trial section. There are basic, intermediate, and advanced combos. JP walking up in there. <laughs> Striding out, feeling good about himself. Game speed by 50%. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm just gonna pause this real quick. I want to check on the audio, make sure that I didn't buck it up, because it seems like the audio definitely took a hit somewhere. Holy shit! Why did that happen? Oh no! Fix this up. I apologize. I apologize. All right, hopefully. This is a great way for you to expand your horizons and abilities. Hopefully it's better now. When you have a chance to finish it, you got to take it. Oh, we also got the commentator mode. In versus mode, you'll find uh, team battles. A lot of people really like the commentator voices and shit like that. I kind of just don't. I just don't. 
Make sure to turn on your favorite commentator and get ready for some fun with your team. It's KO! I don't think the commentators are bad, I just... I'm just not interested in it, honestly. It's cool though, it really is. If anything, I want to say I prefer character commentators. <laughs> if anything. Next up is Extreme Battle. This differs from a normal battle because there are special rules or gimmicks on the stage. For example, you can have a battle where the winner is the first to knock down their opponent five times while rampaging bulls run across the stage. Or set up a rule where you have to complete the objectives displayed on your side of the screen first. While random drones show up and have different effects when they're destroyed. This will let you have fun with other players in a party-like setting, so okay. give it a try. I hope they get more modes to this uh, later down the road. Also, every time Manon's on the screen, I just, I just, oh my god, I can't stop looking. I'm sorry. I can't. They know exactly what they did with that character. Dash was ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Whoa. That's a victory screen. The four virtual cabinets in the room can be set to one on one. That was vicious. That was unnecessary. Gave me a heart attack. Custom rooms it on purpose. up to 16 players at a time. How's it feel to be on the other Great side, Jerry? Improve the experience compared to previous titles. Here comes a new challenger. Two time. Oi, this is Sorry if I'm being very quiet, by the way. <laughs> to some of you, you might prefer that. I'm being very quiet. Because I'm just paying attention now. Oh, that's very... Oh my god. That is very detailed. Holy shit. Startup, total frames, advantages. Damn. Popular Plonka's <laughs> Plonka's photo is great. Fight it out with players at your skill. Really want to play Lily too. She seems really fun. For Street Fighter Six, in order to burden the player with less stress than before, we've added a new one-time rank down protection feature, where you won't lose league points in certain leagues. In addition, we have character specific and random character ranked matches and ranked match phases which will determine your rank. They really made a time. Lily look like a little gremlin. <laughs> In that costume, honestly, I couldn't stop looking at it. Without any change to your league points. So, Sorry, what did you call me, Jury? The team working on Street Fighter 6 has been challenging themselves to create a game that's going to become a long-loved Street Fighter title that all players can enjoy. Oh no, it definitely will. It's only a little bit longer, but we can't wait for It's been it's been since World Street Tour, Fighter 3 and Battle since we've been fighting in the streets, you know what I mean? We look forward to playing Street Fighter 6. Okay. <laughs> DJ B and DJ. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Shut Don't up. Get off my screen. Crazy. All right, now let's go to Shuhei Masamoto. Street Fighter Six is producing. Man, they really, they really, <laughs> they really, they really fucking kept the leash on that guy, huh? <laughs> They're like, you're just here to be a pretty face. For Street Fighter 6 once the game releases on June 2nd. Okay, all right, this is important. I'm going to shut up now. Charm is the cast of characters from around the world that appear in each game. We believe that Street Fighter is where players can take control of unique characters with their own awesome yes. fighting styles. Yes. For the players, it's such great art. Holy well, shit. The appeal of Look the at Guile. Oh my god. The most important element of the series. With Street Fighter 6, we're continuing development to deliver new characters to you every year. Today, I'd like to introduce the four fighters for year one. Now that we kicked that motherfucker out of Capcom. Oh shit. DLC. Alright, all the leaks were real. <laughs> and then Akuma? Yeah, and then Akuma. Okay. So we got Rashid. 
Ed, Akuma, and Aki. Aki being a newcomer. Which will see the introduction of I'll talk about Aki in a bit. Rashid, Aki, Ed, and Akuma. Rashid of course, Ed's coming back. Everybody wants Ed to come back. 2023. Aki in autumn 2023. Ed in the winter after the new year. And Akuma in spring 2024. You're waiting for Akuma. <laughs> They're like, you're going to wait. New year one characters will appear in world tour as well. Also, his official art now has white hair instead of red. Because the in leak had red hair, we're right? We're various events and a store to obtain special collaboration items. We can't wait to show you what we have planned. <laughs> Collaborating with Adidas. season of the Capcom And Pro Gucci. Tour, Street Fighter 6 will be the main game. you damn right it's going to be the main game. Motherfuckers are going to be winning millions of dollars. Capcom Cup 2023 champion will receive a special... You guys hear about that shit? <laughs> prize package. Yeah, million dollars for first place. Capcom Pro Tour 2023 will be over two million dollars. Damn, dude. Both modern and classic control. Motherfuckers are just gonna be joining the join. So we hope you're all excited. By the way, I love the idea of Capcom just being like, and today we're announcing Sonic Fox is going to have a million dollars, because of course. And in addition to the regular version, how sick would it be though if somebody showed up and said, "Yeah, I didn't care about this shit until y'all said a million dollars." So then the Sonic Fox killer shows up. Please check them out. Out of nowhere, first tourney, secret boss you didn't know about. Dude's like, I never. Just a random person going like, I never did competitive because it was too easy for me. I just play for fun, but y'all said a million dollars, I'm here now. Okay. Open beta? Oh my god, it's out now. Oh shit. Finally. We've created a special demo version of the game. Oh, it's not an open beta, it's a demo. The first bit of World Tour and some modes and fighting ground. The demo will allow you to create an avatar that can also be used in the main version of the game on the same platform. All right. Only on so, PS5 though, because I played the beta on PC. With the avatar creation feature. And the PC Have beta fun. was great, dude. PC beta was so fucking good. The PlayStation 4 and 5 Good thing I have a PS5. Will be available after this showcase finishes. Hope you enjoy them. We're creating Street Fighter 6 to be the game that revolutionizes the fighting game genre. To this aim, our development team has taken the lead and challenged themselves to realize something amazing. We're now at the point where their hard work has materialized. Who got kicked out of Capcom? Well, not kicked out, quit, whatever. Who cares? Is it Ono? It was Ono, right? He's not there no more. That's why Street Fighter 6 is good. The Street Fighter 6 demo is dropping right now. Keep, keep reading those cards, little Wayne. Create your avatar, explore world tour mode, and start fighting. Thanks for tuning in. Street Fighter 6 out June 2nd. Maybe you get to throw hands with your boy Weezy. Peace. Ew, that was gross. I hated everything about that. Alright. Okay, so... Not a beta, not a beta round 3. We'll probably get a beta round 3, probably... Either beta round 3 or, like, early access. For, uh... Like, before the game comes out. Like, I, I assume that's what we're gonna get. Um... You know confirmation of all the leaks being real like even more confirmation <laughs> that's it right nothing else after this oh they just replay it right that's just a replay right degree of customization yeah they just replay it okay um so that was pretty good nice little bite-sized thing uh little wayne didn't little wayne it up too much because they definitely Kept that motherfucker in check. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I mean... At this point, there's not really much to say about Street Fighter VI. Except for just, it's really good. Wait for it to come out. Because, um... Because, like... 
let me let me just switch to a better screen. There we go. There we go. Just randomly picked it. Cammy's here now. Now you can now you can appreciate her and all her wonderfulness. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what the hell was I saying? There's not really much to say about Street Fighter Six anymore because everything. I mean, everything was leaked before it came out, and that wasn't even a problem. It was, if anything, it really helped the marketing of the game a lot because. It was a lot of things that people really wanted. Um, you know, returning characters a lot of people wanted to see. Uh, no Balrog, no Vega. Very surprising. I mean, <laughs> like, again, the leaks came out. So, you know, even during that leak, it was it was very surprising. But we were expecting, like, maybe, maybe that was just a bit of it and we'll get a little more. But, yo, no Balrog, no Vega. They're gone. Shadow Lou's over with. They're gone. Right? Closest thing to Balrog you got is Ed. So they'll probably, they'll probably, you know, we'll probably see Ed in DLC. Maybe they'll add them into World Tour. Maybe. Um, you have them like their own little DLC area. And uh, you'll probably see Balrog hanging out with Ed and shit like that. Rashid hanging out with, uh, with, uh, what you call it? His butler. Whose name I can't remember. I apologize. Uh, Rashido of the Turbulent Winds. <laughs> Um, very excited, very excited about everything that I've seen. Everyone's very excited. If you played the beta, you know how good this game is already. And all you wanted to do during that beta was just play more of the game. Um, fighting games are really getting a lot, getting a lot, and they deserve a lot. And they're getting the care that is very needed towards them. Uh, fighting games are not being held back by stupid corporate decisions as much as they were before. Which is why, again, I keep saying it's Ono, but I, I, I think it's Ono. I think it's Ono. That, like, he's, he's gone from Capcom now, and I think that was the thing that was holding it back, was Ono. Because the moment that motherfucker left, it's like, alright, Street Fighter 6, <laughs> let's do it. Um, they're gonna, of course, they're gonna do a lot of collaborations, especially with, uh, I'm, I'm expecting, may, maybe finally, maybe finally we can see more, uh, uh, maybe finally we can, you know, you had Akuma in Tekken 7, right? And everyone's still waiting for, uh, Tekken Cross Street Fighter, right? Um, which is kind of dead, but also kind of not dead. You know, it's, it's in a weird spot. Uh, but maybe with the way fighting games are going now, we're just more, we're just one more step closer to that. Maybe Street Fighter 6 will do gangbuster numbers, which it's definitely going to do because it is too hype of a game to not. Um, you know, and maybe that will also push Disney into being like, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's, let's revisit that, uh, that Marvel versus Capcom over there, okay? Cause, you know, we're looking at Capcom and what, a million dollars, oh, right? <laughs> so that's very interesting. It, it, you know, what's, what's interesting about Street Fighter uh, 6 isn't even, well, of course it's Street Fighter 6, the game itself, but it isn't even Street Fighter six that i want to talk about at this point anymore because we've pretty much seen everything it's everything else surrounding street fighter six it's how it's going to this game is like a lot of fighting games have really affected the genre very heavily in the most recent years but street fighter six is definitely going to affect it in a way that the other ones just couldn't right like tekken 8 looks great and all but that's not really, you know, other than Tekken 8 just being really good, it's not really gonna affect, at this point in time, we really don't see that it's gonna affect, like, the grand scheme of things for fighting games in general. Um, but Street Fighter 6 is definitely getting out there. It's definitely getting out there. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, I'm not that big into wrestling, but it's kind of like where it's like, guys, Vince McMahon has stepped down. He is not in charge of rest of WWE no more. And everyone's like, yes, finally, we can have fun. And then one of my friends recently told me that, uh, that, uh, <laughs> that they merged with UFC and Vince, and Vince McMahon is back in charge. <laughs> and it's like, no, the fun is gone. Where is the fun? Who should I turn to? Right. Um, uh, one of the things that I do want to talk about, though, in like in this game, besides everything surrounding it, is is it further back? Is it for, forward somewhere? 
we're, we're getting there. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up somewhere. There we go. That's green. Awesome. <clears throat> I could have sworn Akuma had red hair in the leak, but you know what? They changed a bit. At least, at least the lion mane thing is working out for Akuma now. He's more beastly looking, unlike Street Fighter Five, where he just looked ugly. Rashid is, <laughs> Rashid, still rocking sandals, but you know he's getting close to shoes, right? Ed's, you know, Ed's being Ed, looking like Ed. But more importantly, we're just gonna not talk about these three in the corner over here. I'm moving my mouse like you guys can see it. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we're not going to talk about Ed, Rashid, and Akuma because we already know what to expect from them. I'm pretty sure Rashid's going to have like a bunch. Out of the newcomers from Street Fighter Five, Rashid was definitely like the standout. Let's be honest. Everybody loves Rashid. And even the story mode for Rashid, uh, for Rashid, even the cinematic mode in general fucking highlighted Rashid, right? Even though it was supposed to highlight, <laughs> it was supposed to highlight the world's biggest jobber, um, fucking Nakali. Right, but um, you know, I guess Nikali just got devoured, houred, houred. <laughs> he got jobbed out, man. That dude was supposed to be like an ancient Aztec warrior, like fucking like ogre in Tekken or whatever. You know, comes after strong warriors, but he just everyone kicked his ass. <laughs> he even has the V on his face. He's covered in fucking v V's for Street Fighter Five. Right, he's garbage. Got such a cool design for a character, such a cool concept, but execution is the most trash garbage thing that they ever did, ever. Oh, man. He wasn't even that bad to play as either. He was pretty fun. God. We're not going to see Nikali ever again. <laughs> if we do, if we do, it would be a cold day in hell, right? Uh, if anything, Nikali has more of a chance of coming back than, uh, than the character I actually want to talk about right now, which is... Fong, Fang, however the fuck you want to say his name, whatever racist ass Chinese shit you want to get out the way, <laughs> dude. That that dude was a bunch of stereotypes wrapped in one. Holy shit! Not only that, but he was just his design. His design wasn't too bad. A lot of people hated his design. To me, I see what they were going for again, but again, it was also just like very stereotypical Chinese, like crazy man, right? Like, ha. <laughs> Like, haha, fortune cookie. Like, okay. <laughs> like, all right, Fong, you're gonna stay over there. Oh, but guys, don't worry. He has poison and he flaps like a fucking bird. Um, yeah, you're gonna stay over there, Fong. Even all his poison shit wasn't. And it wasn't ter. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the best. Um, you know. Uh, Fong was just a travesty. We're never gonna see Fong. And the reason I'm bringing up Fong is mainly because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one making parallels to this. I'm pretty sure everyone and their mom's making parallels to this, but it's Aki, right? Aki seems literally, literally, literally <laughs> like them trying to actually do what they want to do with Fang, Fong, whatever, what they want to I'm going to call him Fang now, which they wanted to do with Fang proper, right? Because the whole thing about Fang was that, um, I want to, I want to call him an assassin, but he's not really an assassin, but he did have like, you know, again, he had that look of him of like ancient Chinese secret assassin, right? You know, <laughs> um, they're kind of doing a round two of that and trying, it seems like we haven't seen much of Aki, by the way, but just from, just from like what they've seen so far and even her design and even her fucking name. Right? You got the fucking anagram and her name shit going on. You know, the, the dots in it. Like, they did that same... That that was the same thing with Fang, right? He had, like, you know, he had, like, dots in his name, right? Am I crazy? I feel like he did have dots in his name. I don't know. Uh, But, um... I should really look that up. I don't think... Was his name just really straight up just, like, Fong? Fang? Was it really just straight up that? I feel like... I feel like he had dots in his name. But anyways... Um, Aki, it seems like they're trying to do that archetype a little better and a little different this time. You know, Chinese assassin with poison, right? She's probably going to have some weird shit, but not super weird. Just weird to where you're like, what the hell is that? But it's also super cool, right? Her design is a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more on the safer side, though, 
right? You can definitely see, uh, you can definitely see it's like, okay, guys, she's from China, but like, she, <laughs> she's not, she's not running around with a fucking, with fucking buck teeth and a Fu Manchu, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, um, what else do I want to say about her? Um, if anything, one of the weirder things, mainly because of the naming convention of her, uh, of her, you know, mainly because of her naming convention, her name, um, and even just like, you know, the shade of her skin, <laughs> it sounds so racist. I'm sounding so racist this entire time. I apologize. Um, fucking maybe she's like some type of experiment, right? Like how Seth is you know, a fucking freak of nature. Uh, same thing with 12 and 13. They're freaks of nature. Necro's a freak of nature, right? I feel like we might be getting some of that back in Aki. She's definitely, to me, like, even when the leaks came out, like, we love the World Warriors. We love the newcomers, right? We love it all. Uh, I love Jamie. He stuck out a lot, and he's very fun to play. And I love assistance and everything, but at the end of the day, the character I am most interested in just seeing and learning about is Aki, right? She's just so, she's familiar yet different. Um, and it's kind of like when the, the leaks came out and people saw Manal, right? And they were like, oh, is she supposed to just be like a better version of Abel? Is it just them trying to do Abel again? Because Abel was fucking boring. Abel, because that's all it was. Abel was just fucking boring. That was it. Abel's here, right? Abel wasn't even as crazy as like El Fuerte, El, uh, El Fuerte, right? He wasn't as crazy as El Fuerte or Hakan, right? I would love to see Hakan come back. Oh my god, I would love to see Hakan come back. I want to see Hakan come back so much. He's so fucking weird, and I love it. Um, but uh, you know, it, you know. Abel, like, the most safest character in the world, right? So, you see Manon, and everyone's like, so, is it them just trying that again? And then we finally see Manon, and it's like, oh, no, she's vastly different. <laughs> she, she's got a lot. She's a grappler, but it's ballet, so it's not strength-related grappling. It's kind of like judo, where, like, you use, your, you use your opponent's moves against them to do the damage. Um, Her super is her <laughs> doing a fucking... Doing a goddamn music video. <laughs> you got the guys dancing and shit. Um But yeah, Anki's definitely one of the main one of the main like very interesting characters for me. Akuma's Akuma. We're gonna see a lot of crazy shit for Akuma. You know. Akuma's always gonna be there. We're always gonna make you pay extra for Akuma, right? We're not getting rid of him. Ed Ed is a character that, like, I feel like, I feel like, if anything, people just want to know more about Ed. How, how, how do I explain it? It's kind of like, it's kind of like Chun-Li's kid, right? Her little orphan child that she's hanging out with. It's like, Balrog's got a little orphan child he's hanging out with. And it's like, you know, we, we you know, you know, Ed's going to be, like, full of himself and stuff like that because fucking he's being raised by Balrog. But, but it's just one of those things where it's like, this is the next step, the next evolution of the character. Kind of like when Sakura got announced, it's like, oh, she's kind of like the next evolution of Ryu, even though she's never going to replace R Ryu, or Ryu, however you want to pronounce it, it's Ryu, I'm calling it Ryu, you can kick rocks. Um, but yeah, so even though he came out in Street Fighter V and most people were like, okay, Ed's here, he's just kind of doing some punches here and there, it still felt like he was being held back, like a lot, right? So seeing Ed come back, I feel like, I feel like he's, I feel like he's interesting, not because he himself is interesting, he's more interesting because he's connected to Balrog, and I think that's why a lot of people want to see more about Ed. Um, Rashid, again, just stuck out. And Akuma's Akuma, as always. So, that's cool. I would really, I would really love it if, like, before the game came out, they were like, all right. Because, you know, they kind of just did the same thing that they did when they first showed off the game. Where they were like, okay, fuck it. We're not even going to pretend that the leaks weren't real. We're just going to show all the characters right there on one screen. All the artwork, if I can find the artwork, actually. Uh, artwork... 
Yeah, there's no way I'm going to find it. <laughs> there's no way I'm going to find it. That artwork that they showed with like... Oh, here it is. Found it. Oh, fuck. I was close. Hold up, guys. Hold up. I got it. I got it. There we go. Such great artwork. Look, look at Kyle. <laughs> he looks so fucking out of place. Yeah, it's kind of like when they first announced the game and they showed this artwork and they're like, we're not even going to pretend that we're that, you know, we're not even going to pretend that the leaks weren't real. Just here it is. Here's the starting roster, right? Here's the newcomers and everything. Uh, You know, again, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to point out Jamie because Jamie's just cool to me. Uh, Luke, they're really trying their best to make Luke the, uh, the new face of Street Fighter, you know, because, you know, Street Fighter is going in the streets, right? <laughs> you know, Ryu, you know, you're going to have the legacy characters there, but they're trying to now, you know, hand off the torch, uh, kind of like how Tekken's trying its best to hand off the torch to a uh, Jin, right? And so on and so forth with other apt, you know? Um, other apt comparisons like I'm pretty sure the next Guilty Gear game fucking they're gonna try their best to not make Soul bad guy the main character no more because it seems like seems like Soul's just kind of done now if you uh, played Strive's um, if you played Strive's uh, campaign right well played my bad if you watched it right so you know I, I don't think I don't like how they put Jerry all the way back here though because she's too new to be like thrown to the back you know She's too new, right? She doesn't belong back there with DJ. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, so up front, you got the newcomers, right? Looking all nice, all nice and, and great and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I, I lost my train of thought. I'm be honest. I lost my train of thought. I forgot where I was going with this. Um, but <laughs> I'm just really excited, really excited for uh, Street Fighter 6. And if you're excited too, you can check out the demo, which I'm actually going to do fairly soon. After this, I'm going to plug up my PS5 because I've mostly been playing PC for the PC, uh, PC and Steam Deck for the past couple of months. So I'm going to plug up my PS5. I'm going to download that demo. I'll have some videos up for you guys probably within the same day or maybe the next day or something like that if i you know if if my body doesn't feel too bad and i can actually record something proper um but yeah street fighter 6 god it's looking really good nothing but hype one of the few one of the few games where the hype train is actually real and there's no reason to ever get off the hype train because you're always going to be excited they're really trying their best, dude. Like, even with this artwork, it's like, okay, the new three guys, right? Luke is the Ryu, fucking Jamie's the Ken, and for your Chun Li, you got Kimberly. <laughs> they're trying. They're trying their best. They're doing great, though. They're doing great, and I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited. Very excited. Hey, guys, did you know that Luke likes streaming and he hates horror games? Those are his likes and dislikes. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. We're done now. Enough about Luke and his fucking Popeye face for the... By the way, I'm sorry. I said enough about it. They're not changing this. They're not changing this. <laughs> this is your default. <laughs> this is your <laughs> This is your fucking... This is your default box art for the game. What? You want to know who's changing this? I think it's uh either Walmart or Amazon or or Target or something. If you buy a physical copy there, they made their own steelbook. <laughs> There's a store somewhere, one of the stores. They made their own version of the steelbook, which is not this shit. So if you're getting a physical copy, just go and buy it from one of those stores. Because they're like, we made our own steelbook. This fucking Pie Pie shit is stupid. It's ridiculous. I don't care. It's dumb. Um... But, uh, <laughs> Jesus, that's, this is the new face of Street Fighter, guys. It's fucked up. <laughs> fucked up, pop by shit. All right. Anyways, we're done with the video. If you enjoyed what you watched, please leave a like, comment, all that stuff. Um, you know, in the description is a link to my Twitch and my Twitter if you're interested in that. Uh, what else is there that I need to say? Uh, currently on the... Currently on the channel, 
currently on the channel i have uh i'm doing jedi fallen order to get ready for jedi survivor when that comes out right i think i might have enough time to do zelda breath of the wild before tears of the kingdom come out don't quote me on that but uh you know if you see if you see breath of the wild go up then uh yeah that's definitely what's happening with that um xenoblade 3 is getting its dlc i'm not sure if i'll record anything for that there's just way too much stuff to do within my schedule so you know maybe i might maybe i might do that for twitch maybe maybe that's a big maybe right um but uh yeah you know after this I'm also going to be uploading the demo stuff for Street Fighter 6. So if you're if you enjoyed my commentary and you're interested in that, please check that out. Um please check out the Star Wars stuff. Also check out the Pokemon Crystal stuff that I'm doing. Um as for Twitch, there's no set in stone plan, so if there's no plan set in stone, so if I don't do the DLC for Xenoblade 3, um I'll be doing something else. I'll make it known. Uh I'll, I'll make it known. Don't worry. It'll be in the YouTube community page or on my Twitter. You guys will be updated there. And you can also go check out the uh, streaming times over on Twitch as well for the schedule. I should be updating those pretty soon. Um, we Again, we just finished Borderlands 1 co-op. So if you want to go and see that, you can see that. That's All the VODs are there on Twitch. They're not going anywhere and they're going to appear on YouTube as well. Um, everything on, everything I do on Twitch is going to appear on YouTube if you're interested. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That, that's everything I have to say. I've taken up way too, I've uh, taken up way more of your time than I thought I would. Right. I'm trying not to make this as long as, um, Final Fantasy 16, but if you enjoyed it, again, leave a like, subscribe, click the notification button, please please click the notification button and not just the notification button, but like all notification buttons because <laughs> there's more, there's more than one, right? It's very weird. There's the notification for the channel. And then there's also notifications for YouTube, right? It's very weird. It's very weird. So please check that out. Uh, check that out. Please, uh, uh, enable that stuff so you can get up to date with all my bullshit. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video stay happy stay healthy and take care